Let's look at tutorial 3-3. We'll start off by briefly looking at a diagram. Uh, this would be a steam plant, a very basic steam plant, where heat goes into the boiler. The steam that is generated with the heat energy transfers to the turbine, where you have work output, and some heat is rejected. Not all the heat can go to become work. Some is rejected. And this is rejected in the form of a condenser removing the heat. The steam now, after being condensed, which is now hot water, is pumped using a feed pump into the boiler, back into the boiler, to produce more steam and the cycle carries on. So, in this sum, we are told the steam plant produces 900 kilowatts of energy. That is work output. That's power. What we have here is work out. What we have here on the top of the question is work per unit time, which is 900 kilojoules per kilogram. Okay, so we have to be careful about this. Now, the second sentence says the heat supplied to the plant is in the form of 2,500 kilojoules per kilogram. Per kilogram of what? Per kilogram of steam. And the heat rejected by the steam to the cooling water, remember, this is the heat rejected to the cooling water, which takes away the heat. We are told that this heat is 1,900. Now, the feed pump work required to pump the condensate back into the boiler is a small amount, 4 kilowatts. Okay, compare that to the 900 kilowatts that comes up from the turbine. So, if we look at the question, we are now having to calculate the internal mass steam flow rate. Remember, as we progress, 900 kilowatts is because of a certain flow rate of steam. M dot, we are going to call it. And that is our task, to find this M dot. So let's write down, calculate M dot mass flow rate of the steam. Okay, let's uh, continue. If you look at the data given, the net heat transfer is equal to 2,500 minus 1,900. This gives us 600 kilojoules per kilogram of steam produced. Okay, so far, so good. Now, the total heat transfer rate, total heat transfer rate is given by Q dot, which is small Q, because remember we were given heat transfer rates in terms of 
per kilogram of steam. So we have a small Q multiplied by the mass flow rate. Okay, and we know the final answer is supposed to be the output work per second, that is the output power. Now this is a useful thing to remember. In thermodynamics for a cycle, Q dot is equal to W dot. So now that we know the W dot can be calculated as equal to 896 kilowatt. Okay, remember 900 comes out, but we have to put 4 kilowatts to drive the steam back to the boiler. So the net work is 896 kilowatts. We already got an expression for Q dot. So let's equate the two. So you can see we calculate from our expression where we equate Q dot with W dot. Okay, this portion is our Q dot. This portion is our W dot. And to link the two, we get the mass flow rate, which we want, the mass flow rate of the steam.